2016 should have been the year of the woman. 2017 should have been the year of the woman. And so if not those years, my view is why not now? What should be shocking is the fact that out of 14 federal and statewide offices in Maryland, that there are no women in any single one of those positions. We have had 62 governors, and every single one of them have been white men. I wanted to shoot an ad that was very intentional about portraying and conveying me to the voters. I'm not shy about the fact that when she uh, needs to eat and be with me, she should. I remember a, a teacher who said, thank you for what you did, because I face a hostile work environment where I asked for permission to take two short breaks to pump, and I was denied and in fact threatened by um, the administration to dock my pay for something which is natural and biological. It made me realize that I hope I am giving voice to a lot of people who feel like uh, they have been under attack for just being moms. And don't get me wrong, there are some women who actually have written to me or commented online and said, you know, what you're doing is disgusting. When I shot the ad, one fear I had was that it could allow for others to define me by only one of the things that defines me. I'm the only candidate in the field who has worked at the White House, at the highest levels of government. I'm the only candidate who is an immigrant. I'm the only woman. The overarching point of the ad is that the lack of women in federal or statewide office isn't just about representation, it's about policy. And the fact that we know whether it is an elected office, courtrooms, boardrooms, in any industry, diversity matters. When you have women in charge, you get better outcomes, whether it is healthcare, education, lower incarceration rates, or the fact that you have uh, better collaboration, more bipartisanship, when you have more women in elected office. I'm not expecting women to vote for me because I'm a woman, but I do want voters to understand that part of my qualifications are the fact that I am a woman and that I am a mom, but I'm also the only immigrant in the field. I'm the only candidate who's worked at the White House. All of those are qualifications that provide a unique vantage point that I alone have. And so when people say to me, you don't look the part, I say, this is what the part looks like. And we have a moment now to actually reshape our political landscape for a long time coming.